Well, team, you got an impressive winning streak put together. Things are, are seem to all be, you know, doing what we expected of you, I think, when you got to the UFC. Is that the way that you kind of see it as well? Like, you feel finally comfortable here in the UFC? Yeah, I'm feeling more comfortable. I'm feeling like, uh, you know, I'm, I'm able to be myself a bit more. I'm, I'm going to be more confident, and I'm going to showcase my skills a lot better. Very nice. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen you. I know the world has changed since the last time you fought, but give us an idea kind of what you've been up to and, and how all this has, has impacted you in the meantime. Um, you know, I was training the whole time. I was one of the few people that had, you know, keys to my gym. So I, I was literally in shape the whole time during COVID. I wanted to fight a little bit earlier, but, you know, things happened. And, uh, you know, I was prepared, but, you know, I'm, I'm here now, and I'm, I'm more than ready, and I'm happy to showcase my skills and, and become closer to that title run. Very nice. It's, uh, it's different for everybody, of course, the preparation, <clears throat> excuse me, the execution as well. Um, as far as fighting with no crowd goes and in that environment, um, have you taken any steps to, to address that, or, do you, or does it concern you at all? You know, as long as it pays the same, it doesn't concern me. And second, uh, it's no different than, you know, early amateur fights when you know you're fighting at community centers and you're the first fight of the night and, and nobody's there so it's not it's nothing i haven't been through before the only difference of course being that this one is the uh, main card opener on pay-per-view mm -hmm. i mean does this feel like a breakout opportunity for you man i mean this feels like a to me at least anyway a big spot for you yeah it's definitely a good opportunity he's got a he's got a big name you know what i mean everybody knows him he's a, the dude that punched connor but i feel like um I'm the superior fighter, I'm a superior athlete, I, I got the superior mindset, and I feel like it's really my time to shine and, and represent Canada. I think he's also a guy that like people just don't necessarily love fighting because he doesn't he has a big name but to the hardcores, not to the casuals, but he's a really, really tough test. So yeah. when they gave that name to you, I mean did it excite you or did you say, Oh, I don't, I don't know if this is the right thing for me or not? I don't shy away from nobody. There's nobody uh, I think I don't match up well with. And, uh, you know, yeah, he's, he's uh, a wrestler, but it's nothing I haven't dealt with before. I've dealt with plenty of wrestlers, and I, and I got the recipe for them. So give me an idea here, a win here. I mean, like I said, I know a lot of people have had high expectations for a long time, and now it seems like you're really coming into your own. What do you think a, a win here does for you? A win here gives me top ten, gives me somebody in the top ten, and I can start making my title run. Uh, and I guarantee that after I get a win tonight, I promise I want a top ten opponent and start getting ranked. I can't help but notice like how different from the start of your UFC career you are as far as just seems like being comfortable up there, like you said, speaking confidently. I mean, yeah. is this something that you've had to, to work on or is it something that's just developed naturally while you've been here? Uh, you know, it's my sixth UFC fight. Um, you know, I, I'm starting to, you know, come into my own. I'm starting to get comfortable. I, I've been in this company for a little bit now and, uh, you know, I'm just being myself. I'm feeling a bit more relaxed uh, and, like I said, more confident. I'm not the newcomer no more and it's time to just show what I'm capable of. I dig it, man. Well, last thing for me, give, give me an idea here. How do you how do you see this one playing out when you when you play through your head? I I see this uh, me giving them a beat down, and uh, you know having a having a good time afterwards, calling out that that uh, top ten guy that I want, and uh, getting that one step closer to the belt. Speaking of that top ten, what do you make of the rest of the division? By the way, it seems to be one of the. The most stacked divisions at the moment, but it seems like a lot of the, until recently, a lot of like the top five didn't really weren't very active. Mm -hmm. until uh, you know, I think uh, yeah, it's it's one of the tougher divisions, but I like I said, I'm I'm very confident in my skills, and there's nobody I, I feel like I can't beat, and I don't match up well against. So I'm not really worried about anybody. I'm just gonna focus on one fight at a time, and after I get through this opponent, I'm I'm gonna you know call up my next opponent and uh, and take him apart too. If you watched it, how did you score the last fight between Volkanovski and Holloway? You know, uh, personally, I'm 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 a I'm a damaged dude. Sure. So the way I looked at the fight, I, I thought Max definitely won. You know, like a hundred percent. You know, because I, I was watching it at the bar, and uh, as soon as the fight was done, I didn't even wait for the the judges or the scorecard. I just left because oh, I was yeah. like I was like Max had it in the bag, and. Um, I woke up the next morning. I was like, "What? Like, it was crazy. Like, that's that's real, literally what happened." And I was like, "Damn!" Like, you know. And then uh, on a side note, uh, I saw you you participated in the Black Lives Matter march. Uh, in Canada, correct? Yeah, um, definitely. Uh, what did you make of Colby Covington's comments? Uh, on I Saturday? found them, you know, extremely rude, uh, racist. Um, you know, I'm kind of surprised. You know, he's allowed to talk freely like that. I guess you know everyone's allowed to talk freely, but I, I took a little bit of offense to it. And, uh, you know, it, it's crazy that, you know, it, it's, it's comments like that are, that are causing more and more of a divide, I feel like, amongst the people. So, you know, I mean, that's how, that's how he gets down. But I'm, I'm not really with that. And uh, I took offense to that for sure. 
do you think the UFC or ESPN when they wear those? Like I, I, I think Colby said something to Kamar about like using like smoke signals. Yeah, like that. that, that's racist, racist, man. Like I'm, I'm, I'm crazy. Like they were almost worried about my walkout song. You know what I mean? And he's gonna be oh my bad. Uh, and he's gonna be saying um stuff like that. You know, um, that's crazy. And especially you know, uh, you know, in, in such a big stage, I feel like that's only gonna promote uh more and more divide and, and, and cause more and more issues, you know what I mean? He's got the president calling them, backing them up on that. So it's, you know, I don't really appreciate it. And, uh, you know, that's how it is, I guess. Does it bother you that people kind of just say about Colby, oh, he's playing a character, so it just like, gives him free reign to do and say what apparently everyone wants? Uh, yeah, like, no, it does bother me because like, you know, so people think he's playing a character, but to the common person, they don't know that, and you know they hear this guy that they're looking up to, and you know I ain't gonna front. He's he's a good fighter. He's 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 definitely a good athlete. People are looking up to him, and, and they're gonna believe it, and they're gonna think it's okay. And not only is he saying that, he's saying it on the world stage, and uh, and and it's okay. So you know I, I don't really rock with that. You mentioned Zabaya and you mentioned the Connor incident. Um, I know you've been over there to Ireland. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're fighting? Half of SBG for this one? Yeah, definitely. I got a lot of SBG people uh, hitting me up saying, you know, I don't want to say what they're saying, but they're saying, <laughs> they're saying some things, you know what I mean? And they definitely want me, you know, to to, to get that punch back, which I will. And uh, yeah, definitely, I love Ireland. I, uh, they treated me really good out there, and I, I got a good uh, connection out there. Does it make it any special for you, given that Zubaira is uh, Habib's uh, teammate and one of his closest friends? Um, you know, it's just another fight. This this would be the second uh, teammate of Khabib's that I put away. So, um, you know, it's it's nothing new. I've been here before. Like I said, I feel like the first, you know, teammate of Khabib's I fought was a better wrestler. He was, uh, you know, 7-0 and with six submissions. So I feel like, uh, you know, uh, this is nothing new. And I feel like I match up even better with this guy. And I don't really care about, um, you know, if he's Khabib's homeboy or not, I'm just looking at the fight stylistically and I match up well and I'm ready to perform. But do you feel like it's like one of the biggest names, maybe not the fight wise, but like the popularity wise? The guy has a you know big following. Yeah, media. yeah, that's what I'm looking at. I'm looking to, you know, put him away, grab some of those followers, run my followers up, you know, build my platform and, and, and keep it moving. Do you see you know, we're talking about your, your your performances in the cage and stuff like that, and it's still you're still trying to find that fight, and this could be it. Of this is going to take me to the next level in popularity. Then you see someone like Hamza Chimaev and certain fighters that the UFC just put the machine behind for whatever reason and propel them. Do you ever feel a bit irritated that why isn't that machine behind me? Uh, you know, no, I don't feel irritated. You know, he he came out. He's got two KOs. He came out blazing. Um, you know, of course, everybody knows my UFC debut didn't really play out the way uh it was supposed to. You know what I mean? But, you know, I, I, I feel no resentment. I feel like every man is responsible for his own. And, uh, you know, he's doing his thing right now. He's talking all that, and he's backing it up. So, you know, hats off to him.